I'm Jeff Kanaj at The Deal here at the Alex Partners private equity event. I'm talking to Ted Belillis of Alex Partners, who is the global head of leadership and organizational effectiveness. Ted, there are a lot of people out there who want to be CEOs. Very few are, are actually qualified to do the job. How do you go about culling through that mass of wannabes and selecting and assessing the right person for the job? Well, in a typical situation, Jeff, our client is the private equity firm, either in the process of acquiring or acquiring a new company. Before we ever look at people, we really look thoroughly at the investment thesis, and we look at the context and the culture of the company that needs the new CEO or for whom there's a CEO, but there's some question about whether he or she is effective. So we never actually start with the person. We start with the investment thesis, what the critical outcomes are for that role, one, two, three, four years out. For private equity, it's all about speed to EBITDA, speed to cash flow. Is that individual, does that individual have the capabilities of being able to do that? So we really define that the end state first, and then we do a deep dive on the individual and the culture and see what the fit is like. Okay, now given that, what sort of characteristics are you looking for once you decide on, on that sort of uh, the, the, right. that investment? Right, process? so in, in most situations, as you might imagine, everything's a little bit different. But generally, generally speaking, in most situations, given the pace of global change today, you want an individual who is very agile. They can think quickly, they're able to pivot, they're able to understand people and themselves, they're able to lead, they're able to communicate and transmit their message to others. At the same time, they're able to interact with a board that oftentimes can be very demanding. So there's a versatility and adaptability and a flexibility along with very high cognitive skills and the ability to lead that would make for a kind of, I would say, ideal CEO in most situations. Okay. Um, that it sounds like there, you have a sort of a general idea of what you're looking for. Does that change depending on the industry or econo differing economic conditions? It, it can change depending on the deal. So it's okay. very, very important to understand, you know, if, if, if um, a private equity firm is buying a founder-led company and they're going to professionalize the management and they're going to transition that founder out, there's some very important things that need to be made explicit, which is, for example, there's a culture in that organization that may travel with the um, with the founder. So you you want to you want to disrupt that at your peril, right? The, there's a there's a saying going around attributed to Peter Drucker that culture eats strategy for lunch, mm -hmm. and it's really really true. So whenever you're disrupting a culture, you need to understand how leadership plays into that. And if you're going to replace that founder, if you're going to replace that leader, or even augment him or her, you've got to do it very 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 carefully. Ted Belillis, Alex Partners, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Jeff Kanaj for The Deal from Boston.